You're very welcome back. Now, almost 8 in 10 adults have experienced one or more forms of a scam, with fraudsters relying on bogus emails and rogue texts to catch people out. But how savvy are we when it comes to spotting a scam? Well, here to help us all stay alert and scam smart is consumer champion Siobhan McGuire. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Hello. Siobhan. Good morning. Lots of scams doing the rounds. We were talking about rentals earlier on and yeah. people being uh, targeted by scams and a lot of students being targeted at the moment as well. But you've got a whole other lump of scams to I be aware do. of as well for us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, most of us will think, oh, we'd be, you know, we'd be so quick at spotting a scam if it, if it landed into our yeah. email. The fact is that three quarters of all Irish uh, internet users have been the victim of a scam or online fraud wow. in some shape or form, That's which it. is phenomenal. Yeah. It, it's like a magic yeah. trick, though. Once you see how it's done, you're like, oh, I totally know that. But yes. whereas, in fact, you're not. You're not susceptible to it. You yeah. know, or rather, you are susceptible to it. You're not uh, aware that it, you're... you're um, you're going to be targeted. Shall we have a look at the money mule scam? Yeah. Absolutely. The money mule. Yeah. Right. We have some uh, excellent statistics in from Fraud Smart, which is an initiative by the Banking and Payments Federation Ireland. Okay. I spoke with Neve Davenport this week, who heads up Fraud Smart, and she was basically giving me the lowdown on the money mule scam. Now, this scam, 40% of uh, people aged between 18 and 24 have said they are willing to partake in this scam. Um, now, what it means is that uh, people will be targeted, mostly students, targeted uh, predominantly online. They will be offered a percentage of profits if they allow money to be transferred into their account and then moved on to another account, essentially money laundering. Now, not only are our students being targeted um, online, they're also being accosted at the school gates, secondary school kids, and uh, on F college physically, campuses. Physically? People waiting for you? By people going up and saying, listen, do you want to make 50 quid? And, of course, the stu student cash-strapped goes, yeah, absolutely, I'd love to. And from there, their bank account is used and then the money is transferred. Um, now, the money comes from criminal activity. We know this from the Gardaí. And anyone, any student who lends their, their bank account to somebody is actually part of the crime themselves. Yeah. So uh, they do face a criminal record which would affect their credit rating in future years if they wow. try to get so a mortgage. So they're actually engaging in criminal activity yeah. by facilitating it there were and agreeing to it. Absolutely. There were 1,600 incidents, reports of this happening in Ireland wow. last year. And it's on the rise in twenty. I thought it was the case that they get your bank details off you and then they take the money out of the account and you never yeah, see them again. Totally. But it's actually that they, they bring you into a criminal enterprise. They absolutely do. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. And actually, that age group are the most susceptible, most vulnerable when it comes to scams. Because if they're targeted yeah. online, they think they're getting a bit of money. Um, in actual fact, um, they lose on average 20, uh, 228 euro every time they're scammed. Wow. wow. We do think of older people when we hear of scams, we not do. necessarily younger people. Yeah. Talk to us about smishing, phishing and vishing. So let's, let's start with smishing. So smishing um, is where you are scammed by text. Okay. Um, we, the, this is regularly happening to people where they'd be contacted uh, on text by uh, somebody posing to be from their utility company. Yeah. At the moment, we have one go, doing the rounds in relation to revenue. Um, and a neighbour of mine contacted me and she said, oh, Siobhan, will you help me get my refund? I'm getting like €1,200 Euro from revenue. And I had a look at the text for her and I said, this is an absolute scam. Do not go near it. Yeah, don't you know? engage. So uh, that's what smishing is. Phishing is when you have been scammed by email. Um, and again, they're doing the rounds. I, I checked my sp uh, spam mail on the way in this morning and I had one from Netflix basically saying that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of their best customers and they're going to give me free Netflix for life, but I do have to enter in my details to update my payments. Yeah. Um, and then the final one is vishing. This is the voicemail. This is where you have somebody uh, contacting you pretending to be from a particular company. We had, had a huge one happen with AIR earlier this year where okay. customers were being called on their landline in relation to the broadband and saying, listen, you know, we're, we're shutting down your broadband within 24 hours because of non-payment. And the person at the other end is going, but no, I am paying. Within, well, listen, you know, Give you're going to have to put in your bank details, otherwise your broadband is gone. And can you imagine, you know, life the without Wi-Fi, yeah. especially if you have a family? Sure. So, uh, so that is vishing. Right. Yeah. So it, it, the, the, the difference... Uh, spellings, I suppose, are just based... It's the same scam, 
but it's just how they get in touch with you. So exactly. and they can do this on WhatsApp, they can do this on text message, Absolutely. they can do it on email and they can do it over the phone yeah, to you as well. They are. Um, I, I know Bank of Ireland, they, they did a warning out as well about yeah. uh, don't give your details but if, we, if it claims to be us, we'll never ask for your details That's over the right. phone. That's right. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no genuine company will ever ask for your bank details, ever. Right, so don't do it. Don't share and it. when there is a legit phone call, actually, they quite often say, do you want to call us back? Yes, Rather than do. give your personal details and yeah. your access code and all that over the phone straight away. Yeah. I think that's a safer thing to do, isn't Absolutely. it? Hang up and actually ring them yourself. Yeah. Now, I do know mobile, some mobile phone companies, when they want to let you know of, of, of you know, a really good deal that's going on, will actually call you and then say, OK, well, look, if you want to proceed, we just need your details. And I have to say, it's a really silly way because people are, are being scam smart. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, they really do need to kind of address that way of approaching people. Absolutely. Um, am I pronouncing this right? Wangiri. 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 Yeah, it right. actually, What's this? It translates uh, to one call um, in Japanese, which is where the scam originated for, from. Now, this is where you will get a call from an international number oh. that's unrecognisable. Yeah, we've all had, had this one. Calls, you see the missed yeah. call and you go, who the hell is ringing me from Malaysia Liberia. or whatever? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Algeria. you ring them back. Well, you Morris. go to ring them back. You ring, if you ring them back, you go straight through to a premium uh, call line right. where uh, you are effectively paying for that call. Every, and every second you're on, every you're, second, you're, you're, it's you're, more it's going and more and more okay. money. So they usually let it ring once, don't they? You see the That's missed it. call and you yeah. go and return it. Yeah. So the moral of the story is never, ever answer an unknown unknown call. Uh, there's there's one uh, one version of the one Geary called the Slovakian scam, and that basically has a number that starts with an 086 prefix. So you instantly think, oh my God, it's a mobile it's number local. in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and it actually isn't. It's the same premium uh, type number that you end up being caught Right, up yeah. In. A lot of smartphones as well will tell you, don't they have the function now where it's like, they'll show you the country that it has come from? Yes, exactly. That's right. yeah. You see the yeah. country flashing. So it's a bit, bit yeah. handier, yeah. It's, exactly. it's useful to have, yeah. yeah. yeah good idea. Uh, moving on to the blackmail scam. Yes. This, this is, is just the lowest of... I mean, they're all horrendous. Yeah, this is, just this is really, really bad. And it's um, it's also referred to as the sexploitation yeah. um, uh, scam. And uh, again, in my spam mail on my way in this morning, I had one of these. Oh. And it's basically somebody um, sending you an email, addressing you by name and surname, and saying that they have recorded you watching porn and that they're going to share this unless you pay them $698 in Bitcoin. Um, and they, they, for most of us, we'll go, well, that's absolute rubbish. I'm just ignoring that. But obviously, they are making a, a certain quick percentage book. There of people, would be yeah. some people who would get that message and go, oh, gosh, how do they know? And then actually pay out the money. Um, but the thing is, these, these uh, scams and, and fraudsters, they're so smart. They're able mm. to um, discover your, your, your first name, your second name, um, because your email address will have been breached at some point uh, over the years, whether it was a data breach through a different company you were registered yeah. with. Uh, now, they don't actually know enough about you to come after you, you know, in the kind of physical sense. Uh -huh. um, but the smart thing to do is just yeah. delete, put it into your spam. Uh, go and check it out. There's a website, actually, Have I Been Pwned? P-W-N-E-D. Yes. If you go and have a look at that, you can see if, you, if your email is out there in, That's right. in, on their oh, network. Your so, details have I yeah. Been Pwned? Shares. Yeah, it's called. I, I did mine, and I'm um, five and breaches. Same. Um, I'm on, like, yeah. five or six. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, Siobhan, thanks a million. No bother. Cheers, thanks for that. Very much. Thank you, Siobhan.